Often when customers buy studio flash units, they look at the price first and what's in the kit second without considering some very important factors. These days you can buy lots of very cheap flash systems, most of which originate from the Far East and are rebadged for whoever's selling them. Some of these units are very unstable and have very inaccurate control. Some are downright dangerous because studio flash units produce very high voltages. Most people don't even consider things like flash durations. The duration of the flash is effectively your shutter speed. Unlike on-camera flash, the flash duration of a studio head actually lengthens when you turn the power output down. This means that when you use many units on the market at low power, your 125th of a second flash sync speed on your camera can be faster than the flash, chopping the end of the flash off before it's finished. You also need to think about whether the flash kit is part of a system or, like many products, just a one-off with no accessories to speak of. Cheap and cheerful, or maybe not so cheerful flash units, are designed for very low use and won't cope with heavy professional shooting sessions without overheating. The Elinchrom Swiss made system is part of a huge range and all the units have fast flash durations and fast recycling. With digital control they're totally accurate and can be adjusted by a tenth of a stop. Also they're all fan cooled and all have a trigger voltage of just 5 volts so they're perfectly safe to connect to any camera. The Elinchrom range also has to conform to very strict Swiss safety standards which are higher than most countries in the world. They're lightweight and all the kits come in proper carrying cases and that's why I use Elinchrom. So let's look at the range of compacts to help you choose the right tool for the job. The D-Lite is the starting point. The D-Lite 2 is a 200 watt second head and the D-Lite 4 is a 400 watt second head, twice the power of the two. Both have a 5F stop range, adjustable in tenths of a stop and are totally accurate. The D-Lite range is designed for amateur or occasional light professional use. I know many professionals who have a D-Lite kit stored in their car all the time as a portable backup. They'll do everything the pro units do, but just don't ask them to work quite so hard. Just look how small the two head D-Lite kit is when it's packed up. The kit is supplied with two heads, two stands, two soft boxes and all the cables. And they're all in here. The next range is the FX and BX, available as a 100 watt second and a 400 watt second unit. The FX and BX are identical, except that the BX has auto sensing multi voltage, so it will happily work in any country and with any voltage from 90 to 230 volts. The BX also has a user replaceable flash tube, whereas the FX is fixed voltage and has a fixed flash tube. They both have a rigid alloy chassis fast recycling and flash durations and will work happily all day and every day for professional use. At the top of the range we have the RX heads available as a 300, 600 or 1200 watt second unit. Here we have the same great professional features as the FX and BX but with even faster flash durations and recycling and a huge 7F stop range. It's a real can do will do system which, coupled with the Elinchrom Skyport remote control, leaves its competitors gasping. Don't forget to watch the Skyport video to see how that works. On top of all this, in the RX range, there are also two power packs, a 1200 and a 2400 watt second pack, and the Ranger RX battery pack system for location lighting. But now I want to show you something that's truly amazing. This is the new and latest offering from Elinchrom, the BXRI, and it's like nothing you've ever seen before. My jaw dropped when I was first shown what it can do. Firstly, it's available as a 500 or 250 watt second head. It has, of course, the same accessory fitting, so it's completely compatible with previous units and accessories. If I turn it on, you can see that it works in the same way as all the others. Now comes the clever bit. It has an intelligent cooling system which is substantially more efficient and only turns the fan on when it's needed. The slave cell can be programmed to ignore the pre-flashes of an on-camera flash gun. If I press the I button for 4 seconds and scroll to C0, the unit is now waiting for me to fire my on-camera flash. When I do so, it senses the number of pre-flashes 
and sets itself automatically to ignore them all and fire on the last one. If I know how many pre-flashes my flash gun gives, I can manually program the correct number by setting C1, C2 and so on. We can set the modelling lamp to turn off while the unit recharges, so that when the lamp comes on again, you know it's ready to fire. At the moment, when I press the power up or down buttons, the power changes by one tenth of a stop. With the BXRI, I can change this to one, two, three, four, or even five tenths of a stop, and even whole f-stops with the press of each button. If I'm using a 500 head and a 250 together, I might get a little confused as the modding lamps are the same power in both units, and I may not see the difference when setting up. Well, Ellingcrom have thought of that as well. I can set the modding lamp on any head to 50%, so I can see the power difference. When using multiple heads, I can even set the length of the ready beep, so that I can hear which heads have fired. But perhaps the most exciting thing about the BXRI is that it has the Ellingcrom Skyport radio remote system built in. With the optional Skyport transmitter, I not only have a great radio trigger, but with the plus and minus buttons, I can change the power and control the modding lamp. How neat is that? The Skyport system has eight selectable frequencies and four groups, all of which can be programmed on the BXRI. We reckon that the BXRI is the most advanced studio flashhead in the world. So you can see that Ellingcrom is a complete system with a huge number of different options and it's fast leaving its competition behind. I'm glad I chose Ellingcrom and I know you will be too. I'm Chris Burfoot. Thanks for watching.